Here's another example. This time we want to know how far from the base of a house should you place a 14 foot ladder so it reaches the gutter 12 feet above the ground. Okay, so let's start by sketching a picture like usual. So here's my house. I have a ladder that is 14 feet and it needs to reach the gutter which is 12 feet above the ground. So it needs to go 12 feet up. We're looking for how far from the base of the house should the ladder be placed. So there's the ground. Assume that the house is perpendicular to the ground so it doesn't make a right triangle. We're looking for this piece right here. So we have a right triangle that we can now solve with Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is the length of the ladder, 14. The A and the B are my 12 and my unknown. So we have for Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared is 12, so 12 squared plus x squared equals 14 squared. Now we can square those numbers, so I have 144 plus x squared equals 196. And if we subtract 144 on each side next, that'll get the x squared by itself. So x squared must be 52. Now we do not need to worry about reducing the radical. We want our answer to be rounded to the tenths place. So I'm just going to type the square root of 52 into my calculator. And when I do that, I get 7.2111. And it just keeps going after that. To round to the tenths place, look at what's in the second decimal position, the hundredths place. It's a 1. That's going to round down. So it's going to stay as 7.2. So we'd want to place the base of the ladder 7.2 feet away from the house. And just like problem A, we're not going to type everything into our interactive notebook. You need to type out your original equation here. You need to type out the x equals the square root of 52. And you need to type out your final answer in the answer box of 7.2 feet. And you also should add the picture or the numbers here to the picture. So add the 14 for the ladder length, the 12 for the height above the ground, and the X for the distance from the wall. So add all of those things that I boxed to the boxes in your interactive notebook. Hello, in this video we're looking at 7.1 day 2 on the Pythagorean theorem. Today we're going to focus on word problems involving the Pythagorean theorem. For the examples, we're going to start by drawing a picture, and then we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing side. We'll round our answers to the nearest tenth if necessary, and the nearest tenth is just one place past the decimal, so one decimal position. The first step in doing a word problem is drawing a picture so you can visualize it. So for example 2 part A, we have a baseball diamond is a square with sides of 90 feet. What is the shortest distance between first base and third base? So start by drawing a picture. Okay, so a baseball diamond is just a square with each side 90. So my square is obviously not perfect here, but when I think about baseball, there's my home plate, there's first, there's second, and there's third base. So we're looking for, you know, what is the shortest distance between first and third base? So this distance right here. Now it is a square, so I know all of the angles are 90. So right there I have a right triangle. And the distance between each of the bases is 90 feet. It's a square with sides of 90. So we're trying to figure out what is the distance between first and third? The shortest distance, that's my x right there. So now, if we set up the Pythagorean theorem, the x is the hypotenuse of a right triangle, it's our c, and the other two sides are a and b. So going to our Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a and b are both 90, so 90 squared plus 90 squared equals x squared. 90 squared is going to be... 8,100, then just add those together, 
and that is 16,200 equals x squared. Well, now to get our answer here, we don't have to simplify the radical today because with word problems, you're usually looking for an approximate answer. So we're just going to go back to our calculator and we're going to do the square root of 16,200. And when you put that into a calculator, it gives you 127.279.22, etc. cetera, right? I just need to round that to the nearest tenth. So one decimal position, if you look at what's in the second decimal position, it's a seven, seven rounds up. So I would round that to 127.3, right? The two rounds up to a three because seven is five or more. So the distance between first and third base would be 127.3 feet. Now in your interactive notebook, I didn't leave space for you to show every little work step. The only thing you need to type into your interactive notebook is the original equation that we used here. So 90 squared plus 90 squared equals x squared. And then what number you were square rooting to get your x. So I would fill in the x equal and then I'd fill in the square root of 16,200. And then where it says answer at the bottom, that's where you type in the 127.3 feet. You should also add the numbers to the picture that we used. So the 90, the 90, and the x.